Hi guys, welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Melissa and I like to make videos on all things luxury. If you love luxury as much as I do, I would hope that you would consider subscribing. Today's video is in collaboration with Candy here on YouTube. She also has a luxury YouTube channel and we are going to be talking about the four bags in our collection that we absolutely love and we think that they are underrated. So these are bags that aren't very popular in the YouTube community. They're bags that we don't see very much on the street, but they're bags that we feel like they deserve more recognition and they deserve to be talked about just a little bit more. So if you wanna see which four bags in my collection that I think are very underrated, then please just keep on watching. Going in no particular order, we are gonna start with the Louis Vuitton Mini Dauphine. I bought this bag back in December as a Christmas present to myself, but when I found this bag, when I first saw this bag, I tried to do lots of research. I tried to watch YouTube videos on this bag because I never had seen it before and I never had heard anybody talk about it before. But I had a really hard time finding good reviews on this bag. Now I did find Haley's Room was a beautiful review on this bag and I will link it down below for you guys. And that is the review that ultimately made me decide that this is a bag that I need. This bag is absolutely stunning. It's got the beautiful gold buckle right here that I love so much that I'm actually considering getting another piece from the Dauphine line. I'm not sure if I want the Dauphine wallet or if I want the Dauphine belt. I'm leaning towards the belt, but I need to try it on because I'm not sure what size I would be, but I absolutely love this little buckle right here. I also love the fact that this bag has warm tones and cool tones. Now you guys know I sound like a broken record. I love my cool tones, but the reason why I love my cool tones so much is because that's what looks best on me. But I don't always want to wear cool tones. So I feel like this bag lets me wear those warmer tones and allows me to get away with it. Whereas some of the warmer tone um, bags and clothing really clash with my skin tone. This one has enough of both that I feel like it really works for me. Another thing that I absolutely love about this bag is the fact that it is really easy to style. I can wear this with almost any one of my outfits. I love to pair this with a very simple outfit. I feel like it has enough pattern that it really adds a little bit of extra something to a simple outfit. But I also feel like the pattern and the colors are toned down enough where I can mix it with other patterns. What do you guys think? Is this bag too busy for you or do you think it has the perfect amount of pattern? This bag can be worn cross body or short shoulder. It has an, a strap that is somewhat adjustable. It only has two adjustments. So short shoulder or cross body are the only two ways that you can wear this bag. I find that the strap is a good enough length that it will probably fit most body shapes and sizes. And if it doesn't fit your body shape and size cross body, then it definitely will work for you short shoulder, which I really appreciate about this bag. This bag does fit all of my everyday essentials. It doesn't fit much more than that, so I mostly use this bag for the weekend, but it does very easily fit all of my everyday essentials. I can fit my phone in here, my sunglasses in here, my key pouch in here, uh, a cosmetic pouch with medicine, headache medicine and cosmetics, and I can fit my card holder in here, and those are all of my everyday essentials. So overall, I think that this bag is wonderful. I have hardly anything bad to say about this bag. The overall look of it and the fact that it's so versatile and it's very easy to use, it's lightweight, it's comfortable. I just don't understand why there aren't a hundred different YouTube videos on this bag because it is absolutely stunning and it is very, very functional and practical. Next up is my Bottega Veneta Paddock Cassette Bag. Now I kind of get this one, it doesn't fit quite a lot in there, but the look of it, you guys, this bag is absolutely stunning. Now you might be thinking, Melissa, green is not my color. Well, lucky for you guys, this bag comes out in lots of different colors. It has beautiful nudes, it has a beautiful almond color, which is a very nice beige. It comes out in black, it comes out in white, it has so many beautiful colors. So if green is not your color, look into the other colors. Now you might be thinking the price point. This bag I believe is around $5,000 now. I'm not sure on the exact price. I will pop it up on the screen for you guys. But you can buy this bag on the resale market for less than, are you listening? 
less than $2,000. You guys, this bag is worth way more than $2,000. It's absolutely stunning. The leather quality is out of this world. And the fact that this bag has no logos on it, you guys, you can pair it with anything. It is a bag that has texture to it. So it's not a boring bag. It's not a super simple bag, but it's not logo mania and it doesn't have a design or a pattern all over it. So it's very, very easy to style. Now, besides the fact that it's easy to style, it goes with almost all of your outfits, the leather being so soft and supple. It also is very, very lightweight and very comfortable. This is one of my most comfortable bags in my handbag collection. It has several different adjustments on here. And the only hardware you're gonna see is this little um, Bottega Veneta symbol right here. So it's very lightweight. The thick strap is actually kind of cushioned as well. It's not super cushioned, it's just a thicker piece of leather. So it's very, very comfortable and it's not very thin. It's about an inch thick. So it's not going to dig into your shoulders. So the fact that this bag is absolutely stunning, it's easy to style, it's soft, it's supple, and it's comfortable, I just don't get it. Why aren't more people talking about this bag? Why aren't more people in love with this bag? Especially when you could buy it for so inexpensive on the resale market. Now, one major downfall about this bag is the fact that it doesn't fit a lot, but it does fit all of your everyday essentials. You can fit your wallet in here. You can fit your sunglasses in here. You can fit your phone in here and you can fit it, um, your key pouch and your keys in here. Now that's all I need on an everyday basis. So for me, it works out perfectly and I just absolutely love this bag so much and I just don't understand it. All right, guys, before we get into bag number three, I wanted to quickly share with you guys a little bit about Candy's channel. She has a beautiful, massive Louis Vuitton collection. If you guys love Louis Vuitton, you are not going to want to skip on her video. I bet you almost all of her bags, if not all of them are going to be Louis Vuitton bags. Now she does own a few other brands. She owns Chanel, which we all love. She owns some YSL. I believe she owns a Gucci bag, but her true love is Louis Vuitton. She also loves pink. You guys, who doesn't love pink? We all love pink. And she has some very beautiful baby pink bags. And because she has such a massive luxury handbag collection, I feel like she's got a lot of knowledge and a lot of insight on which bags actually really work out for you and which ones that might be under the radar that we might want to pay attention to. So definitely check out her video next. The next bag is the YSL college bag. You guys, this bag is absolutely stunning. A lot of people go for the YSL Lulu bag instead, which is a beautiful bag as well. It's more puffy and soft, and it doesn't have the features that this bag has. This bag has a top handle and a back pocket. The YSL Lulu does not have either one of those features, but it does have a strap that you can double up on your shoulder. Some people might love that. I personally don't. I'm not a shoulder bag girl. Therefore, this bag definitely works out better for me and for my style. I love the chevron pattern and the chunky hardware, but I don't feel like it's overdone. It's just enough to add a little bit of something to the bag. The fact that it has a back pocket that I can fit my Kindle inside of, you guys, it's so good, it's so good. And you can fit your phone back here as well. Not together, you have to pick one or the other. It has a magnetic closure, which is a very, very strong magnetic closure. I have recently done an in-depth video on this bag. So if you wanna hear all my pros and cons about this bag, I will link it down below for you guys. This bag does fit all of your everyday essentials, but I wouldn't say it fits much more than that. You can fit your cell phone, a pouch with cosmetics in it, you can fit your key pouch, your card holder, cell phone, just all of your everyday essentials inside of this bag very, very easily. It's very comfortable, it's lightweight, and it's got a beautiful chunky chain that I absolutely love, but it's not a heavy chain. So on here you can see this beautiful gold chunky chain. It's absolutely delicious. I love the chain on this bag. I love the fact that I can wear this bag with my edgy outfits and my sophisticated outfits, and it doesn't look like it's out of place either way. I can dress this bag up by carrying it top handle and taking the chain strap off, or I can wear it crossbody and dress it down. 
I can wear this bag on the weekends. I can wear it going to church. I can wear it dressed up or dressed down. I can wear it going out on date night with my husband or I can wear it for work. But speaking of work, there's a bag that I love just a little bit more for work. And that is this beauty right here. This bag out of all of these bags that I have mentioned today shocks the crap out of me. I can't believe that more people don't love this bag. This is an elegant bag. Don't you guys think it is so, so beautiful? Every time I look at this bag, it makes me so happy for a couple of reasons. One, it is stunning. And two, my husband got this for me for our very first wedding anniversary. This bag is the first bag that I ever added to my luxury collection. And I love this bag. It's got the beautiful gold hardware, which you guys know I'm not a huge gold person, but with this bag, I think it matches absolutely beautiful. This bag fits everything you could possibly need plus more, which for work, I really like a bag that can hold just a little bit extra. Maybe I need to carry a snack in my bag. Maybe I am on my lady time and I need to carry a heat pad or something like that. All of those items fit inside of this bag very, very easily. Now I will say for me personally, I have dressed this bag down, but it's more of a dress up bag for me. I like to wear this bag when I have on a pair of slacks or a very sophisticated outfit. Now that's not the only way I wear this bag, but I really do think it adds just that extra little touch to an outfit that's very, very sophisticated. This bag is very comfortable to wear. You can wear her crossbody, long shoulder, or short shoulder. I tend to wear this bag mostly short shoulder because the strap is actually pretty long. I'm five foot six and a size eight for reference, and it's really, really long on me in my frame. So I feel like if you are very petite, you would probably have to wear this as a short shoulder bag. So the fact that this bag fits all of your everyday essentials plus more, it's very comfortable, and the way that it looks, and it's actually a very nice price point, I think that this bag is the perfect bag, and I don't understand why more people aren't talking about it. Let me know down in the comments below, how do you feel about the Louis Vuitton Vavine PM, and why do you think that more people aren't talking about it? Let me know down in the comments below guys, what are the bags in your collection that you feel like are underrated? The bags that you absolutely love, but nobody else seems to be talking about them. I would love to check out your favorite bags and your most underrated bags. So definitely let me know. And before you run off, I'm gonna have Candy's video linked right here for you guys to check out next. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful or entertaining. But until next time, bye guys.